Hello and welcome to the Intel Sat stand at Eurosaturi 2024. We are here today with Richard Snaith, Managing Sales Director for Global Governance and Space. Hi Richard. Morning Alex, how are you? I'm really good, I'm really good. How are you? Yeah, very good, thank you. Excited to be here. So, to get a bit of an introduction to Intelsat and what you're doing here at Eurosaturi today, can you explain to us a little bit how the need of military and humanitarian operations are evolving at the moment and what that means, you know, for the role of uh, communication technologies in, you know, in helping these operations? Well, given the state of the world today, Alex, I don't think it's any surprise that humanitarian organizations and militaries are more aware of the need to have uh, accurate and timely communication services. Information is key, and the events of the world have shown that the uh, accurate delivery of information is critical to success in terms of either expediting a response to a situation or giving an advance warning that some action may be needed to take. Yeah. But the unsung hero of this story is the transportation of data, mm. which is where satellite communications companies really shine and where Intelsat is supporting humanitarian and military operations with this uh, timely, secure, and uh, speedy delivery of information to where it's required, be that to central decision makers or operators in the field who require data to affect a response. Okay, so we'll get to uh, data sharing in a minute. But to begin with, I know that Intelsat has been pioneering quite a few technologies like 5G and also virtualization. So could you tell us a bit more about how, you know, you were talking about the importance of transferring this data. So how are these enabling the military operations? It's all about having a more intelligent, more responsive, and ultimately a more effective communication system. So the advances in technology that allow edge computing and that allow virtualization, they do a number of things. They increase simplicity, but they also increase the speed of action for a military or for a humanitarian operator. So we're very much focused on the development of technology that allows that to happen. Our future networks are designed around software-defined networking standards, mm -hmm. but also software-defined satellites. The hardware in space is changing dramatically to improve performance, increase simplicity, and really deliver a seamless experience to users, be they military or civil. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're here to showcase at the event. So Richard, you were telling me before, as I said, we'll come back to data sharing. So can you explain to me a little bit more about how Intelsat is facilitating the seamless data sharing? Because I assume it has to be, for the warfighter, it has to be seamless. So how are you facilitating that? So we enable the multi-domain sharing and collection of information such that command authorities can uh, sense, make sense of, and act upon the information. We also provide a range of multi-orbit um, services which are simplified uh, in order to get the data to where it needs to get to as, as quickly and as efficiently as possible. We are also developing a range of smart edge terminals to improve performance and decrease complexity whilst delivering this multi-domain uh, picture of the battlefield. So looking into the future, you know, could we look at something like optical links and cloud technologies? Is this something you're looking into? What is it going to look like? The battle space of the future will be a very integrated space based on standards and using software-defined networking and software-defined satellites to have uh, technology integrated very simply, but also optimized so that it delivers the result that the warfighter needs. Mm -hmm. And an example of this is linking an all-domain strategy back to uh, optical links from space to space, space to ground, very complex but made very seamless for the user. Uh, virtualization of hardware, so that bespoke hardware in a roaming environment is no longer a problem, be the user in, uh, on the ground, in the air, or at sea. Uh, the idea is to give a seamless experience to the user in the military as if he were using a roaming mobile phone uh, network. Okay, yeah, so I am the military user, I'm the warfighter, and I see none of this, right? I get all the information shared across all the platforms, and I don't know that it's all this interaction is happening. That's right. We take the complexity away and provide a seamless experience so that data is made actionable in the easiest and quickest way possible. Well, this sounds really exciting. So what exactly can we expect from Eurosatory? Are we going to see some of these uh, pioneering efforts here today? Absolutely, yeah. There's the acceleration of growth and innovation in the industry is quite something. Um, I would encourage all our users to come and meet us to see a greater depth explanation of what Intelsat has to offer. Maybe a few solutions they haven't seen before. 
Um, we believe that satellite is absolutely critical to enabling the efforts in the battle space, but also humanitarian areas. And it's all about improving command and control, getting people to make better decisions more quickly, and ultimately you know, improving safety of life and, and command decisions. Right, because at the end it's all about information superiority and being the first one to have that information and act on it, right? Absolutely, absolutely critical. And that's why we're moving with our technology uh, to enhance the networks of networks concepts that are prevalent in our industry. Well, thank you so much for your time, Richard, today. It's been a pleasure talking to you and I wish you a wonderful show. Thank you. Nice to meet you.